Hello and welcome back to Pathfinder Kingmaker. So, we have to go back to town, but before we do that, there is somewhere else we need to go. We need to go back to this overgrown pool to see what's going on with the Fae that's there, because I believe we met her cousin, sister, something like that over here, and she gave us something to give back to the person at the overgrown pool. So, let's just go there. Uh, actually, let's just have a quick look at some things. I want to have a look at how many rations we have left, because... Uh, it could be getting dicey. Uh, rations are in one of these sections, I'm sure. I think it's this one. Uh, always think that's rations, but it's up here. Oh, we have 17. Oh, so we're good. Yeah, we also need to get back to town within five days, so this seems to make sense. So if we head up here, that's going to take us a day and five hours. We're going to have to rest. Yeah, okay, so that'll be five days, roughly. Let's head over there. Well, it'll probably be like three, four days, but close enough that we can't do anything else in that time. Right, we're in our fatigue kitten, uh, kicking in. We're actually going a very long way without fatigue kicking in. Oh, we must have someone with better perception than last time. We can see further. That's cool. Oh, would be there nice. as well. Nice. Don't you think? Everyone needs to rest at almost the perfect point. That's great. Uh, I think we will just rest before... Well, no, we could rest in there and then we could hear more of the party dialogue. Because I've seen some people asking for that, so let's do that. Yeah, because if we rest in an area, you get party dialogue. If you rest on the main map, you don't. Uh, yeah, we could rest, but assuming we're not going to be attacked, I think we can probably talk to the Fae first. Yeah, got it. Yeah, it's not a quest, so I actually don't know if the Fae is going to be here. The obvious answer is she's not. There is stuff we missed, though. Oh, nice, another token of the Dryad. I don't see her on the map. Uh, were we, I almost certainly weren't given a quest for this. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, so none of those are, yeah, so we didn't have a quest for this one. Oh, maybe you can do that if you, mm, maybe you can do that if you meet her before you uh, finish the quest. Maybe you can come back and get some dialogue. Yeah, it might be it. What she even give us? I can't really remember. Uh, if I sort from date, oh, the pouch of feather, feather tokens, maybe. Yeah, it was the pouch of feather tokens. Yeah, okay, so you could have given it to her and you could have got them that way. That's fine. But instead, we just got them from the wizard, so that's fine. Right, a little rest. So, six rations. Uh, we don't need to cook anything important because um, we're just going back to town, so... There's no point in getting a buff. Yeah, apart from that, it seems fine. Yeah, our camp camouflage kind of sucks, but actually I think this is still the best way of doing things, so let's just go with it. Yep. Our stealth is god-awful. Who is the I wonder? He's weird. An elf, but looks old. And he's blind. And he doesn't like to share stories. What a miser. So, who is he? The oldest elf on whole Galarian? Or an enchanted prince of Kyonin? Oh, maybe he's a god suffering a memory loss. I'm so excited. I won't be able to sleep tonight. Damn it. Interesting. So it's not just party dialogue. You get, you get a little bit about other people. Hmm. Oh, I didn't realize the dog was still missing um, any con. Well, that's fine. We'll head out here. I'm really not worried if the dog's a bit weaker. The dog is essentially just there to, um, well, to be a meat shield. Right. So let's have a look at how many days we are at now. So last time I took a note was at 10.8 in terms of days. We are now at 12.8. Okay. Means that we now have three days till Yod is finished. And he's finishing a 45 day thing. Uh, we also have four days until Lander is finished. Nothing for Tristan, because he's not on anything, and 13 days for Amiri. Okay, not too bad. Uh, yeah, let's just head back. I was trying to think whether we want to go to here first or something, but nah, I think we'll just head back. 12 hours. Yeah, that'll leave it on this day. Yeah, it's fine. We'll just, we'll just travel. It's all okay. Right. I am always... Oh, we got more events as well. 
I'm always constantly worried uh, that we're doing things too slowly because I'm thinking, well, what if there's some kingdom thing that's going to happen to us and we're not prepared? But anyway, let's head in. Uh, throne room, we're going to get an event, I'm almost certain, because we have that little exclamation mark. And it's not our birthday anymore, so it's definitely important. Okay, come on, what have we got? I'm trying to think. Maybe the Sword Lords? Ooh, nothing here. Interesting, it must just be an event. Okay, that's fine. Um, we're probably going to skip days, but that's okay. We can skip days. Ooh, okay, so we got all sorts. Troll raids. Need to send someone to solve. Has to be done by before the first. Okay. Proposal for cooperation. Merchants from Absalon arrived in the region are ready to do business with the barony if their conditions are met. Seven days to solve needs to be done by the first. Okay. Ancient traditions. An invitation to a celebrated folk festival was delivered to the castle. Okay, again, by the first. And then two projects. Ah, we got research into the nature of curses. David Net Davik Nettle. Now the unneed engineer's curse has been lifted, it might be prudent to study it. Wait, we've already done that, right? And there's the scythe tree. The scythe tree came about as the result of a curse. Perhaps studying what's left of it, might we might learn something. Yeah, we're already studying that nature of curses. Oh, I know how that happened. I know how that happened. It's because when we spammed the nature of curses thing, we it must have spawned another quest. Hopefully that doesn't cause us issues later on. Yeah, hopefully. Anyway, this one ends in four days. Wait a second. That's not right. Mine says it ends in three days. Oh, it might be actual time as well. Anyway, we're, we're basically just going to stay here till it's finished. So, uh, skip day. Three. Four. Oh, look at that. The Howling Wolves. Oh, so we also finished that one as well. Uh, so this is Wolves are Breeding at a Surprising Rate. And Lander, the Regent was able to recruit hunters from among the peasants. They went into the thicket on a big raid and killed many wolves, reducing their numbers to a sustainable amount. Okay. So Community 3. Lovely. Perfect. That means we can now upgrade Community. Uh, now the Undead Engineer's Curse has been lifted. Blah, 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 blah. It appears the curses are... Oh, you can actually see more if you hover. Perfect. It appears that curses are mysterious, little understood magical phenomenon. They have devastating effects on their victims. Perhaps the source of the power is virtually unknown. Perhaps be um, it, perhaps it would be well to keep an eye open for any other curses we may encounter. This research has increased our understanding of divine magic. 45 days for two divine seems like a really bad trade-off. Just to me. Regent demands your presence. Okay. Well, we'll go speak to the regent. So that's uh, Lander, right? Yeah. We're actually at zero days for both of those. Oh yeah, I'll do. I'll just do. A, I'll do a day counter later. That's fine. I'm just trying to work it out. So that means Miri's on like nine days or something. Yeah, we might just want to stay here until then if we can upgrade something. We'll see. Lander smiles. Oh, it's an amusing situation, Your Grace. A former cohort of the Stag Lord, a simple bandit, has come to pay us a visit. He seems that he and all the other bandits from the area believe that you are now the new lord of the Stolen Lands, so they sent him to pay their respects, he even brings gifts. He wants to share his loot, so that in response you will permit him to conduct his, uh, business in your territory. It's not a bad solution, I'm sure the bandits will pay generously for the right to be private tax collectors. Of course, outside your lands, some may look upon this as organized extortion. But what do you care about those stiffs from Bravoy? Um, yeah, um, let's see, yeah, arrest this bandit, clap him in arms, the same fate awaits any like him. Yeah, definitely, that's how we start with the first bandits we met, so let's do it. The smile disappears from Lander's face. Oh, I can't say this is a wise decision. There won't be any fewer bandits in your lands, they just won't be contributing to the treasury. But very well, it's up to you. Okay, so we got some BP for that. Interesting. Well, let's head back here and see what we got. So, Yod has other stuff to be doing. Lander might have other stuff to be doing. Let's have a look at this. So we only have... Um, 
We only have 15 days left of this month. Yeah, okay. Support the Regent's Endeavours. Yeah, so we can spend 14 days upgrading, which means we can do one thing before the first as well. Okay. I don't like that we have double research nature of curses. I'm kind of minorly worried about that. Okay, let's um, let's head back this way. So, Pillage Temple of the Elk. No. Trade Agreement with Sertova. No. Uh, rebuild the Temple of the Elk. 60 days to solve. We can put Yod on it. Okay. That's reasonable, but it does take him out for multiple months. Which is why I'm avoiding it. This agreement, we can't do anything with. Research into Nature of Curses, Bald Hilltop. Okay. Interesting. That's 60 days to solve as well. Trade agreement with Mivon. Again, can't do. Talented recruits. This is plus one to any bonus involving the general. Now, that's pretty good, but Amiri is busy. Uh, busy. Yeah. Support the general's endeavors. Again, Amiri is busy. Research of curses. Okay, so that's the only new one we can put on for Lander. And then we have to basically put Yod onto a research of curses, although there's no ones available there. Ooh, that must be like nature or something. What's it? It's not called nature. It'll be arcane then. So it'll be an arcane curse, I guess. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, so I think we should rebuild the Temple of the Elk. We have the BP to do it. Yod is available. So that seems like a use for him. We have, do we have any... Actually, we have events that need to be looked at. Ancient tradition. And we can send... Oh, we could send um, Tristian to do that one then with a plus eight. Definitely. Perfect. Proposal for cooperation. Oh, that's Lander. Troll raids. That's a Miri, but she's not out of it until troll sightings was end in nine days. Okay, so that means that realistically, we want to put... We want to do this one. Yeah, Temple of the Elk, I think we want to do. That's going to cost us our 100 BP. It doesn't cost it straight away, interesting. Oh, we have to click Start Project. Ah, oh, okay. I, I need to click start on all of those. There we go. That's fine. So I'm not upgrading any stats, which might be a bad thing. But I am doing the things that are available to us. I feel like we should upgrade stats when we have more counselors available. And do events while we can. Because I feel like upgrading stats is just us sitting here. Clicking upgrade stats. So, I don't know. We have 40 BP. Uh, it might be worth building. Let's maybe build up here. Um, well, actually, do we have anything left in our capital? Because we can get bonuses from things being close together. So we'll see what we can do with that. I haven't actually been to our other town. I wonder if we can visit it. I assume we can, but... Anyway, that's fine. So we're still building the monument over here, actually. Aren't we? Or is that the monument built? It doesn't look very built to me, but that's fine. Um, okay, so what do we want here? So we got a smithy and a barracks. Barracks are good with wall, jail, reinforced stone wall, watchtower. Okay, smithy's good when adjacent to a shop. It's already adjacent to a shop. So actually, this can be anything right now. Um, yeah, it does only, it only says shop. Can't have a windmill. Lumberyard? In a settlement with a pier, this is good. And we have a pier. It's the only one where we're going to get a bonus, isn't it? Oh, this is plus one when in the assessment of a tavern, but also works with windmills. So, actually, yeah, let's go with Lumberyard. That gets us one relation. And one economy. Which is okay. Yeah. And that at least fills up our town with things. Right. We can head out now as well. Perfect. Um. Oh, I need to do another day overview. So... Amiri ends in nine days, and we have to be back here for her. Actually, Amiri ends in nine days, but the next thing that she has to do is troll raids, which take 28 days. So she's kind of like a... And what day is it? It's the 16th. 16th of the 8th, so she is back in nine days, but has a 28-day thing to do, which expires in 15 days. To be honest, my in initial th way of keep keeping track of that is not very good for this, but we'll try that. Okay. Ancient Traditions ends in 14 days. He has nothing else to do, I think. Yeah, he has nothing else to do. Proposal for Cooperation ends in 7 days for Lander. 
he also has nothing else to do except for our one where we sit here with him and upgrade a rank. And then Jod uh, is 60. I remember that one because <laughs> it's nice and even. Yeah, he's on 60 days rebuilding the Temple of the Elf. Now, hopefully that's going to give us a huge bonus. I would hope that gives us something massive from doing that one, but we'll see. Right. So, we really want to be back here in seven days. Potentially. Yeah, we only really want to be gone for a week. But that's okay. We can do that. Uh, there are some questions about where we want to go straight away here. Um, I'm kind of feeling like the troll layer we should do on our next level. I think that makes sense. But we'll see. What's our current level? Our current level is six. I might be too far away. Maybe we're meant to do the troll layer now. Ahead. There's a lot of events around that area that we can go and have a look at. We also don't need more supplies, really, so we can just head out. Oh, Storyteller. Hello. Uh, we have more stuff from. We have tokens of the Dryad. Yeah. Uh, how interesting. Some Latorag. Yep. We have tokens of the Dryad. We have the dog tags. That's fine. Oh, okay. Uh, nope, we didn't find the other items. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Good. We'll grab the free stuff. Money is now at uh, 14,000, which is very, very nice. Cool. Uh, don't need any of that with us. I think we're probably going to take roughly the same party again. I don't know. Yeah, everyone kind of has a reason for going, so. Well, I don't know. A lot of them have a reason for going. Um, Jethal's pretty much just going because she does a lot of damage. But, I mean, it's kind of the same with Jethal and Octavia. They, they both kind of fill the same role right now for us, which is heavy damage, except one stands at the front and one doesn't. So, I don't know. Uh, head down here. Is there anything we want to buy now that we have insane cash? Um, let's just speak to Verdal. He's the one who sells us the actual good goods. Uh, price in descending order. We don't quite... Well, I suppose we could get full plate or something. What's Mithril? What's that do? Uh, Mithril. Shiny, silvery, glistening metal that is lighter than steel but just as hard. When it works like steel, it becomes a wonderful material which uh, from which to create armor and occasionally used for other items as well. Most Mithril armors are one category lighter than normal for purposes of movement and other limitations. Heavy armors are treated as medium, medium armors treated as light, light are still treated as light. This decrease does not apply to proficiency in wearing the armor. Spell checks are decreased, maximum dexterity is increased. Okay, so actually kind of useless. That's not useful for us at all. What's adamantine? Uh, extremely strong, favored by weapon and armor smiths alike for the ability to cut through solid barriers that ease and endure heavy blows. Armor grants its wearer damage reduction of 1 if it's light armor, 2 if it's medium, 3 if it's heavy. Adamantine is so, uh, is so costly that weapons and armors made from it always masterwork quality. The masterwork cost is included in the prices given. Thus, adamantine weapons and ammunition have a plus one enhancement bonus on attack rolls. An armor check penalty of adamantine armor is lessened by one compared to its ordinary armor of its type. Items without metal parts cannot be made from adamantine. An arrow could be made of adamantine, but a quarterstaff could not. Okay. Interesting. So basically, it has armor reduction. It has actual uh, damage reduction after the armor. So what that means is uh, if they get through your armor, which is very high, uh, say they're doing three damage, it would lower it to zero. Oh, I just noticed that Tristian has to level up. Uh, we will do that in a second as well. Anything worth buying? I actually don't think he has anything worth buying here. No. I, I think what we found is better. Probably the same over here, but we'll just double check if I soof. Let me see what you have. Sort by price and descending order. Here's the bag, which I quite like. Oh, I forgot to like offer. We might as well take the free money while it's here, right? Yeah. So we could afford stratagem if we wanted to. An agile rapier, but the thing is we have nobody who uses an agile rapier. Yeah. Bag of holding, though. That's I'll that's that's ahead. where it's at. That is definitely where it's at. Oh, level Tristian. That's fine. Uh, take another point in cleric because he gets more spells. That's the way you play a cleric. Um, yeah, just level up all the ones with green marks next to them, I guess. Although lower nature is really high for him, weirdly. 
We could just push Laura Nature up further. Or are we... Yeah. Let's just push Laura Nature up further. That's fine. We'll have those be as... Uh, three or four. Whatever. That works for me. Alright. Uh, yeah, and that's him done. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Uh, and while we're here... That wasn't the right one. But that's fine. Christian... Level 2. He gets an extra 1. He has so many more spells than... Um, than what's his name? Who's... I've completely forgotten the name of. Than Harum. Wait, why do I have Cure Moderate Wounds there? No, get that out of there. Right, let's uh, let's just go for Arrows of Light. Let's actually just memorize that multiple times. That's just heavy damage. Yeah, that's fine. I also don't know if, why I need protection from alignment either. Let's actually just give him Arrow of Light. Make him very much just a one... Uh, <laughs> One trick there. Uh, domain one's fireball is in his domain. But what's prayer do? Um, plus one luck bonus. Okay, well, well also lowers enemies. That seems pretty good. Searing blast. Uh, let's just go prayer. I like the plus one luck. Then on the next level, can summon a heavy, mo uh, like a high level monster. Yeah. Or. Alternatively, we can make people have a plague. Okay. Uh, the disease is contracted immediately. Okay. Uh, that's a lot of stuff we could potentially do there. Uh, let's take that. Let's take um, Contagion. What's Archon's Aura? Uh, oh yeah, yes, that's the negative effect to others. Uh, magical vestments. Mm, that's okay. A shield with uh, enchantments bonus of one plus four cast for every four cast levels. So it's basically plus one to some kind of armor. Um, yeah, the Archon's Aura is okay. Uh, any of the rest of these seem okay? Oh, fine-ish. Uh... Yeah, maybe well, that's in touch range. We don't really want to give him touch range things. Dispel magic? Uh, yeah, that could be useful. Like get rid of enlarge or something. Anyway, that's a bunch of stuff. If we ever actually end up taking him out again, which, you know, we might. We might. Right now it's not seeming likely because we have to take her room around. But, you know, when we don't have to take her room around, it's much more likely. Yep. There's our party. That was difficult, right? Um, yeah, I was thinking about Reg and Octavia. No, I think this is fine, because the only slot we have is Jethal's, and I think Jethal does a better job than Reg. At least right now, because she has the uh, troll slaying weapon, which kind of just makes her the best. I kind of feel Octavia is better than Akundio at uh, killing the trolls, but at the same time, that's fine. Um, he, he's got a reason to be here. Uh, so I kind of want to look at a, lar a better map, but this there isn't a better map. Let's just go around like this. Okay. So we've got a huge quest list still. Why does this keep telling us we've got more things on here? Hmm. I don't know. It kind of tells us every time we leave, which is very worrying. So meet the nymph. Well, we're actually not that far away, but that seems like something we can hold off on. See, it always says that there's something here, but there isn't. That's fine. Troll trouble. Deal with the trolls. Lost child. Okay. Oh! Yes, there was something else to do here, wasn't there? That's fine. It saves us traveling anyway. We need to go to the tavern. And speak to Jenna and ask her what's happened to her child. Because that's what the witch told us to do. Now, I think the witch was just being sarcastic or just kind of uh, being like, I don't know. Anyway. I don't think the witch meant it, but I think it's worth doing anyway. Just in case there is something to it. Hello. Jenna looks at you with eyes red from tears. Have you found my little boy? I paid a visit to the witch. Your son isn't there. How can that be? And I thought, but, but, if it wasn't her then... Then that means that, that... The peasant woman's face turns pale and she covers her mouth with both hands. Calm down, Jenna. Tell me, what did you hide from me? My boy! Jenna sobs. He was, 
He was such a little mischief maker. That day, that day, he was especially loud, running around the house. He flipped a tub of dough and... Well, I... Oh, gods, what have I done? Oh, no, the witch was 100% right. I lost my temper and I shouted at him. I told him he can go drown himself in Candlemere Lake. His own mother wishing he was dead. How could I have known it would all come true? If you find him, I beg you. Please tell my love him more than life itself. Never, never again shall I say anything mean to him. Uh, uh, just bring him back here, safe and sound. Alright, I need to go. May I still help you? The woman sobs. Oh. Yeah, okay. I like how I described it as mummy dearest. Uh, I confess she uh, shouldn't have blamed the witch. Yeah, Candlemere Lake. Well, that's fine. She told us the right place to start with. We might have gone to the right place, but there you go. Right. Uh, once we get this loaded in, we can head off. And I think that gives us a good location to go this time. A very solid location to go. Right. Once it loads up. Here we go. Yes. I wonder if we can just take this little shortcut through here, which I think we can. Perfect. Right, around that end. Yeah, there's no way around that building, is there? Nope. Okay. Hopefully when we become a town, this area doesn't actually become any bigger. <laughs> like, hopefully it doesn't make it so that... Oh, we have to walk across the entire town to leave. Yeah, what I'm really hoping is when we become a town, there's a way to just leave instantly. That's fine. Right. Let's go. Oh, redid the party order. Weirdly. Hmm. Yeah, previously it didn't redo the party order. But I think we're in slot four, so we should be fine. Right. Once it loads up. Yeah, I think we're in slot four. Right. Uh, where do we want to go? So, Candomir Lake is down this way. We can just cross directly over. That seems probably like the best way to go for that one. Uh, Rangers offered some leads for the trolls, so we could just go to these leads as well. Although I think that's just going to reveal the tr where the troll location is anyway, but that's fine. Find the wizard's whip. Well, I mean, that should be fairly easy. Uh, we have to find the coins for the dead man, but um, that's the will-o'-wisps we need to get rid of. Okay. Hmm. Ah, we should examine the location more closely if we can learn more about this poor guy and his curse. Maybe we have to do the curse um, event. Gonna get rid of that. That annoys me. Help Amiri kill another mighty monster. Well, I mean, if I can find one, sure. Show the dwarven runes to Harim. Yep, yep. Build a kingdom. Still working on that. Uh, loyalty uh, servant. Uh, loyal servants. Uh, yeah, still working on that. Annexation. Still working on that. Still working on that. 179 days doesn't seem that far away. Mushrooms from the mud bowl and swamp uh, bouquet. Yeah. Okay. And both of these are like over at the mud bowl. Okay. So Candomir seems like a great place to go. Because it's not that far away. We only have to we're only allowed to be gone for seven days. Starting on the 16th. Right, let's travel. Yeah. It's kind of getting to the point where I'm like, the episode should be over, but we actually haven't done anything, so I feel a little bit bad. So we're going to go into Candlemere in this episode as well. Right. Just cross over the lake. Right. Enter the location. Nobody's fatigued, so yeah, I guess so. That's fine. He's going to go drown himself in the lake, according to his mother. Fantastic. Fantastic. Right. Well, hopefully we can stop him. I mean, our persuade's pretty high. Curse of Candlemere. Oh, fantastic. Uh, stone lands are full of weird places. Take the island in the middle of Candlemere Lake, for instance. It seems like it's just some regular remote place from afar. Calm and quiet, but local fishers all keep their boats as far away from the island as possible. There are tales of ghostly lights dancing on the island shores at night. Some say something terrible happened at the tower long ago. Something so dark and abominable that the place is still cursed. True or not, we have to explore the place anyway. It'd be outrageous to have a barony with an uncharted spot in the middle of its map. That's not why I'm going here, but okay. Well, anyway. Oh, there's stuff over this way. Nice. Boat has pulled ashore. Oars are neatly stashed inside. We'll have that. And, ooh. Note wrapped in oiled leather. We came to this island at dusk. Decided to spend a night at the shore and go inland at dawn. 
We've seen some lights floating from the underbrush. For some reason, they don't approach, keeping their distance from us. Tomorrow, we'll head for the ruins. Oh god, it's will-o'-wisps. <laughs> the cleric and the paladin, who hired me to guide them, kept aloof. They exchange whispers about something hidden in these ruins and fall silent as soon as I come close. We come here to search for treasures for a man named Gunderson. These two seem to have plans of their own. It would uh, bother me less if Rumsel wasn't a cleric of Nethus. People say that the moods and methods of his followers change as often as those of the two-faced god. For now, at least, the cleric behaves nicely, except for a constant frantic speeches about the ruins. Anyway, Brit is a paladin of Iori, so I guess I can rely on his sense of justice. We've heard strange things that take place on Candomir Lake. A few days ago, local folks saw a bright flash of light over the tower at the island, and no one could explain what it was. Another strange thing I witnessed myself. When we were coming to the island on our boat, I noticed an old geezer on the shore, and this island is thought to be deserted. I guess the geezer saw us too, because he disappeared. I would track the old hermit down, but I don't dare to leave the campsite unattended. Can't help thinking this island is really cursed, as the locals used to say. Uh, even if the curse is just a fable, and if Rimsel doesn't try any tricks, we'll come back here and try to take this, and I'll tr take this note away. If you find this note, traveller, hop on your boat and go back to where you came from. Arast will bless me. Mori Orsay. Okay. Interesting. So, he said he would leave the note there if he didn't return. That's always very worrying. Yeah, three adventurers came here. That's fine. And there's the coals are all already cold. Okay, it says already like they were here recently, but we have no proof of that. Just check your formations, right? That's okay. Not worse in terms of formation. Right. Uh, I don't really know where to go from here, but I have noticed this thing stuck in the duck over here. I don't know if we want to cross the vines. Ooh, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't know if you noticed the frame rate drop to about nothing there. Okay, we can cross over the vines, that's fine. You cannot stand against me. I hate the will o' wisps. Or the war wisps, however they're called. Get it. Please don't let it cast more at us. Oh, is she just casting Snowball? Yeah, yeah. Stop casting Snowball. You Get your buff on. Kundio. Yeah, you shoot it. Uh, we're looking for, like, a lot more damage. Uh, Jathal, anything I can get you to do? You got a whole bunch of stuff that you can potentially do here. Um, hasn't really got anything in particular that's going to be useful against it. Um, smiting? Yeah, smite it. And Harim here? I mean, I guess you could use uh, Destructive Smite. He doesn't really have anything else I want him to cast on it. Yeah, okay. Uh, we m It's immune to Burning Arc. I think I already knew that. Uh, magic Missile? There we go. Oh, she's got her sword out. That's why she's walking at it. Okay, that's fine. Oh, and get her buff on. It's fine. Fascinate. Uh, each creature receives a check. I think that's if it takes damage, it will break, though. So that's not going to be useful. Uh, Yeah, okay. Let's try this now. Uh, yeah. War Wisp is still thinking about what to do. I went invisible. Edgethal, see invisibility. Well, I can see it. Unworthy. As it appears and shoots us. I grant you dead. Nice. When we actually hit it, we do damage. It's amazing. We actually got so many hits in a row there. Nice, it's dead. Request. <sighs> okay. I really dislike that enemy, but that's fine. Uh, heal. The end draws near. There we go. Another one. 
Okay. And uh, hit yourself. Right. That is another difference between Octavia and Jethal. Uh, Octavia gets healed with the rest of the party. How long does this see uh, invisibility? It's, it's an hour spell? Oh, well, that's... Well, that is huge. It means we're not going to get tricked. Or not going to get uh, attacked out of nowhere. Okay. This is the only way in by the looks of it. Yeah. It's fine. Just wait for our party to get back in formation. Enemy near. Oh, that's fantastic. Actually being able to know about the end. <gasps> oh, no. They also appear behind us. There's more. Oh, um, dog? That one. How do we deal with this? Um. Lindsay? Buff? At least we get a second. Did we get this because, um, Ithal spotted them? Probably. Probably. Okay, Harim? Need to hit it. I'm feeling like actually I'm going to get him to summon monsters back here. Just so we have more enemies for them to hit. Lindsay's buffing. Jethal, does she still have smiting on? I'm going to use smiting again. It seemed to work. Valerie can keep going. Kundio, I could increase his perception and make it more likely he'll crit. But that's not really going to do anything. That's the problem. Yeah. Okay, go. We're right in the center of the group, which is kind of annoying. Yeah. So if they hit the group, they're going to hit us, essentially, is what I'm getting at. <laughs> um, Harim, now, do we have any uh, potions? We do have potions, right. We are moderate wooden potions, so that seems like a good way to go for him. Uh, and for us. Yeah. And for Jethal, potentially. But I think she's okay. Uh, Ikundio probably is also okay, but... Oh, he already he already has one. Um, let's get a quick drink going on here before we all die. Ithal might be okay. I'm going to take her to take a drink anyway. Yeah, there we go. Float right down. This body holds no more. Oh, I actually hurt Jethal by using... Idiot. Idiot, idiot, idiot. That's fine. Okay, Harim's dead. Though we didn't even get his summon. That's good. Um... Uh, what did I do there? So, really, we want to not be in the center here. Longer. Or I'll walk in the line so that it specifically hits uh, <laughs> Jethal. Oh dear. Do you ever feel like you're outmatched? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, snowball? Maybe snowball spam is the way to go here? Uh, we're not dead, we're just weak. Oh, Valerie's dead. Oh yeah, we're dead. And end. <laughs> okay, well. You know. We found an enemy type which we're really bad against. So. Well, there's only one sensible thing to do. It's leave. Oh, God. They just destroy us. I mean, I think we could probably. Now, realistically, we could fight our way through. But like with the ones in the well, do I want to right now when I can just come back later? Uh, no. No, I don't. Well, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.